everybody, my name is Harold. Thank you for tuning in this edition of Flix Fix, and today I'm going to tell you everything that's wrong with Iron Man. It's time for movie and TV news. Flix Fix with Harold the Film Geek. Now, before we get started, I love Iron Man. I loved all three movies and his role in the Avengers, but I'm going to give you the rundown of what all these people are bickering about about the Iron Man series, in spite of how successful it's been. First one, Iron Man. Well, I loved it. I thought it was really great. I saw how Tony Stark got to where he was. I saw how he built his first suit, how he became free from being a prisoner, and the whole thing about his, his dad's friend and it being this, this guy who's doing all this negative stuff. So it was really good, and I love seeing the motions and how these things worked out. But a lot of people had issues with Iron Man 1. What are the issues? Number one, not enough Iron Man. The issue that people keep telling me was, I wish I saw more Iron Man. I don't like the Mark 1 suit or the original suit or the prototype suit, whatever you want to call it. I wish there was more of him in the suit. The last fight was lackluster because he didn't really fight. He just basically flew away and then his suit froze over and the guy basically fell out the sky. Wasn't really that good and a lot of people gave it a thumbs down. They also didn't like the fact that Nick Fury was at the end of the credits and he should have been within the movie as far as like, you know, seeing and hearing about the Avengers thing or whatever. And they're mad that they missed it. Now, this isn't the first time Marvel has put something in a movie, but it's the first time they started doing the road, road to the Avengers kind of thing. So I can see why they put this in the movie, uh, but not a lot of people were expecting it. So I can see why there was a level of frustration because you weren't expecting it. So you walked out and you missed it. In the end, I still think Iron Man 1 was good. I've watched it at least five times, so I'm going to give it a solid four out of five. Especially I saw it on the Saturday morning when it came out. I loved it. I loved it so much. I saw it two more times in the theater. But those are some of the issues that people have with it. Coming up next is Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 basically was Iron Man fighting against Whiplash. A lot of people thought this movie was good, but there were some issues that people had with it. Number one, Whiplash is not the Whiplash from the comic books. Whiplash from the comic books actually did have a whip, but he didn't have the electric whips. He did not have the, 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 the background that he had as far as the engineering and all these other things. What they did is that they merged two characters into the Whiplash character. The other issue was that Whiplash wasn't really a villain. A lot of people keep saying that the Whiplash character was more of someone who was uh, uh, um, evil, but not really an evil villain in the comic book sense where he was continually fighting Iron Man. He fought him once in Monaco and once at the end of the movie, and that was the only two times they fought. Now, here's what my thing is about that. I actually think that was a good idea. And the reason why I think it's a good idea is this. The good idea is the fact that he was so good at throwing Tony Starks off his game that Starks was here, everything's fine, all of a sudden he gets completely decimated, and it basically sends him down the pathway of ruin where he's just like, oh, I don't know what's going on. Everything just seems upside down to him. And I just thought it was really great. I loved it. I loved the intro. I loved how they replaced Rhodes and tried to make it like so seamless, even though everybody knew it wasn't the same guy. But I thought it was really cool. Other complaints people have was that War Machine really wasn't War Machine. War Machine was only in the movie for a short period of time. And they wish that War Machine was more integral into the story. And the same complaint is always not enough Iron Man. Iron Man was there at the beginning, he was there at the end, but they want to see him in the suit 90% of the movie, and that's been normal the complaints I normally hear about it. 